Liza here with this week's Makeup Mayhem tutorial and this is the second video in our super series. Um, so this look of course is inspired by Superman and this was actually uh, the eyeshadow look or a look similar to this that inspired the whole super series. I put on my Superman shirt on a Friday um, a few weeks back and did an eyeshadow look that was very similar to this and it kind of sparked the idea that I should do a super series on my channel. So this is the look that started them all. <laughs> so if you're interested in figuring out how to recreate this awesome Superman look, just keep watching. Hey guys, so prior to filming as usual I have gone ahead and done my foundation routine and primed my eyes with the Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer potion. This is actually the original one. Um, I have a little travel version of it uh, that I forgot I had, so I'm going to use the original one today. And um, next I'm going in with NYX's Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, because the look that we are doing today is, of course, a bright look. So I want those colors to be as vibrant as possible. So I'm going to put on this white base. It's going to help them stick, help them adhere really well to my eyelid and also make the color as vibrant as possible, as true to the uh, color in the pan as possible. So I've just sloppily applied that all over my eyelid, <laughs> and then I'm going to use my middle finger to blend that out. Next I'm going to be going in with a flat shader brush. This is um, a Low Cornell Maxine's Mop brush. This is actually a paintbrush. I don't know if I've mentioned that before or not. Um, but so this is the only one that I have in my collection, but I really want to pick up more paintbrushes because this is great. This is fantastic for applying um, color to your eyelids. So I'm going to go in with Max Chrome Yellow. This is one of the first MAC eyeshadows I ever bought. <laughs> and I'm going to tap off any excess because this is a very bright product. And I'm going to apply that to my eyelids using a padding motion so that it doesn't fall all over my face and get everywhere. Next I'm going to be going in with a crease brush. This is Sigma's blending brush, the E25. Um, this is the travel version and Max Rule eyeshadow. Um, and this is kind of like a lighter orange color. Tap off any excess. I'm going to apply this into my crease above that yellow. And I, I know what a lot of you are saying, but I don't understand. Superman doesn't have any orange. I know. I don't want to be in a bunch of smart butts about it. <laughs> I can hear you now. Um, but I do want to make the transition for the red a little bit easier, so that's why I'm using the orange. And um, by the time we do the red, you're not really going to be able to notice much orange. It'll be okay. Trust me. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look good. <laughs> so I'm just applying that into the crease. And then also blending in just a little bit on the outer corner. We're not really keeping this as harsh um, as my last look, as the Batman look. So you are allowed to blend on this one. <laughs> and I'll do the same thing on the other eye. Next, I'm going to be going in with Max Orange um, eyeshadow. This is a matte orange. It's much more red toned um, than Rule. This was Rule. This is orange. So much more red toned, um, and it's going to help deepen that up again. Getting everything ready for that red eyeshadow. No, I know what you're, what you're saying. Y'all are all out there going, enough orange, stop with the orange, bring on the red. So <laughs> I've got the red here. Um, I don't know of any other palettes in my collection besides this one off the top of my head that has a true red in it. So I'm going in with the Coastal Scents 88 Matte Palette, the original one. And I'm going in with this beautiful, dark, luscious red right here on a pencil brush. And I'm going to start immediately in that crease. That's where I'm going to lay the color down 
first because the first place that you put your brush down is where the most color is going to be deposited. So that's where I want to start. I'm going to go back and forth in the crease here. And then I'm also going to go from the outer corner down towards my eyelash. Sort of like if you were creating a winged liner with your eyeshadow, you're going to go from this corner and drag it in like a little triangle here. Back and forth, back and forth. And then once the product has been placed all over your eyelid and you don't have a bunch of it on your um, pencil brush anymore, then you can go up to the edge of the red that you've placed and you can start blending that out and covering up all the orange that we just placed. Now, without adding any additional product on that blending brush that we used before, I have not picked up any new eyeshadow, I'm going back over that red and blending it out. Red is obviously a very harsh eyeshadow color naturally, so you want to take your time blending this. Now, since I don't have a darker red than the one that I just used, I'm going to go back into the same palette and I'm going to pick up the red and I'm going to mix a teeny tiny bit of black in with it um, to make it darker and then of course I'm going to go back and forth between the red and the black um, until I get a shade that I find acceptable. So we're just going to kind of tap back and forth in those to get a nice deep rich red. And I'm going to focus that on the outer corner. Keeping it as tight as I can to just this outer space here. And of course I forgot to press record for that part. Um, as you can see on this side, this side is much more blended um, than this side is right here. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, I took the same pencil brush that we applied this darker color on the outer corner here, and I took a rag. Oh. Did you, don't pay any attention to that. Took a rag. Um, this one's gross. It's my makeup rag. It has makeup on it. And I scrubbed all the eyeshadow off of it. And then I went around on the edges. I just started blending, 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 blending. And then every now and then, as I was blending, because I've picked up more product, more of that dark black color on my pencil brush, I rubbed it back off and blended some more. And I just kept doing that until I got a blend that I was pretty happy with. So I'm going to blend here for a while, and, uh, and I'll be back when it's nice and blended. Now going back in with that pencil brush, picking up just the red, no darkness this time, just the red. Um, I'm going to go in my crease, brighten that back up again, make sure it's nice and vibrant and not looking orange. Now going in with my highlighting brush and a highlight color, I'm, I'm going for a matte highlight color. So far everything that I've used is matte. Um, that's my personal preference. If you want to use shimmery stuff, you can. I find that the color payoff on matte um, eyeshadows, if you get some good ones, is richer than, than shimmery colors. But it is all personal preference. So I am taking a matte highlighter underneath my eyebrow and blending out the edge of my red. Now
Now to liven up that yellow again, I'm going back in with chrome yellow, the same brush that I used to apply it the first time, and patting that color back on. Now going in underneath the eye, I'm going to take Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Ultraviolet, which is a nice bright blue color. I'm going to run that along my lash line. Next, going in with a different pencil brush than I used before. This one is a little pointier. Um, I'm going to go in with Max Electric Eel, which is a nice, bright, vibrant matte blue. And also one of the first eyeshadows from MAC I ever got. And I'm going to place that on top of the eyeliner and blend it out. Now I wanted to show you what a difference blending makes. Um, this uh, I I kind of slapped it on there, went ahead and put my blue, I blended a little bit, and then I stopped and I focused on this eye. Now this eye I have blended obviously quite a bit more than I did on this one. Um, I would blend, 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 taking my time, and then I would take the excess product in my brush, wipe it off, go back in, blend some more. Uh, and then when I got pretty close to where I wanted it to be, I also took a little bit of a skin tone color powder and blended it right along the bottom edge there. Now this has brought it much closer back up to my eye, which is what I prefer. Some people prefer this, and that is perfectly fine, but this is the difference that's going to make between the two of them. Um, this is a much softer, more ethereal look, uh, where not all the attention of the eyeshadow is on my bottom lo uh, lower lash it is on the eye as a whole rather than this your attention is kind of immediately drawn here and it also brings the eye down a little bit this keeps it a more awake more perky more young if, if you will um, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this side and I'll be right back alrighty so now you can see the difference I've done both eyes I'm gonna go ahead really quickly and do my eyebrows eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back now, to pair with this bright and crazy eyeshadow look, I am going to put the one makeup kind of item that makes me feel like a superhero, and that is red lipstick. I feel like I am on top of the world, I can conquer any problem, I can save any person when I am wearing a red lip. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, and I'm going to go in with this lip pencil, this one, the one that I have here. It's a CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Pencil in Passion 215. And I'm going to outline and fill in my lips. So I'll be right back. Now, because we do have that um, darkness in the outside of our eyeshadow, I do want to darken up the outer corners of this lipstick a little bit, so I'm gonna go in with NYX's um, Round Lip Gloss in Snow White. And I'm just gonna focus that on the outer corner of my lips. And also along the um, bottom edge of my lip. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Blissful. And that completes today's look, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you too can be part of the makeup mayhem. Um, and don't forget to leave your comments down below. Tell me who you'd like to see in the Super Series next, who you'd like to see a fun look for like this one. Um, until next time, keep it bitchin'. Go away, little speck.
next. Pick up, go to uh, blah, 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 blah. Blah blah. I'm talking, saying words, and I don't know what I'm supposed to be saying. Try that again. Zoe. Please do not bump me when I'm putting red lipstick on my face. 24, 12 hour? 24. Blah blah blah. blah. And right. that completes. <laughs> blah. Today's one of those days, I'm just gonna keep saying things. <sighs> you done? What am I doing? Wrong button.